Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Mac Center where the Golden Flashes start off this home week with a loss to the Buffalo Bulls by the score of 82 to 69. I'm Ty Linder on Golden Flashes TV. Let's check the highlights. Here's right now. We're on a dry banker good, and then with that, the Golden Flashes are in flight. Bulls with a big start. Jimmy Hall trying to change that as he backs into the lane. He wheels and fires and puts it in. Yep. Right now we're ahead of the key. High left side it goes to Walker. Now Jimmy Hall. Baseline left. Shuffles his way under. Flip it up and in with the right hand. What a move. Now bounce it back down low to Hall on the left baseline. Out to Zabo. Spot up. Three. Good. By Connor. Kent State has a little bit more bounce in its step. And Zabo has scored and was fouled. This was a heck of a ball game, back and forth. A lot of lead changes, a lot of ties. The Golden Flashes down 11 at one point. Mounted a rally that they went on a 17-0 run to take a seven-point lead a couple of times in the first half. That also included a little bit of a shoving match that led to an ejection of Buffalo's Willie Connor, and really was a spirited first half that found the Golden Flashes trailing by three at the end of one. Kevin steps back, now fires. Tie game, and a foul is called. In the second half, the Golden Flashes allowed a Buffalo run and a 42-point second half guided the Bulls to this win. KSU was led with a monster game from Jimmy Hall, 24 points and 16 rebounds. They also got 11 from Deion Edwin, all in the second half, and 10 from Kevin Zabo. But the Golden Flashes also had 19 turnovers against just nine assists. Skipping a jump, he's fouled, he scores! Great pass by Jimmy Hall to set the stage. Down to seven, he'll fire the three, and he's short, and put up and in by Hall on the second chance. Yep. He gets Jordan spinning and firing from the elbow, he's long. Peterson the rebound, he puts it in! Oh, and De La Rosa ahead to Jalen. No look pass to Peterson on his left. Cutting into the lane, he scores again! 71-64, Reidenauer threading the needle somehow to Hall who banks it in! So, the Golden Flashes fall to nine and nine and now are trying to avenge this loss on Saturday as part of that big doubleheader with the Toledo Rockets. Don't forget, it's the women at four and the men at seven. For all of us on Golden Flashes TV, good evening from the Mac Center.